Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 85. This week, we're going to be talking about using long cables with the camera axe. I'm talking about the cables that you use to connect your camera or your flash or a sensor, uh, those 3.5 millimeter cables. Uh, how long can you go before uh, things stop working? And uh, previously, when people had asked me that, I said, you know, I tested 18 feet, I know that works, but. Uh, longer cables shouldn't be an issue. And they were always saying, well, will 30 feet or 50 feet work? And I was like, should work. I haven't tested. And this would go back and forth in email about a dozen times. So uh, this week we're going to test it. And uh, the longest I ever heard was 50 feet. So I got 50 feet of cable. And I said, you know, what if somebody asks about a little bit more? So I got another 50 feet of cable. So we're going to be doing tests with 100 feet of cable. Actually a little bit longer, 106 feet of cable because my sensors come with 6 feet of cable. So this is how much cable I have sitting around now and uh, should be uh, enough. I think it'll work, but uh, we're going to be finding out very shortly. Now some people will be thinking, ah, does it add any lag? to the camera axe and uh, no it will not uh, the speed of light you know electricity flows through cables at the speed of light or approximately the speed of light let's just say and uh, the speed of light is 300 kilometers per 300,000 kilometers per second um, so that equates to 0.3 kilometer or that's 300 meters per microsecond so camera X is very fast let's say we want to have microsecond type responses um, you can have 300 meters so uh, through more than three times the amount of cable I have here it can travel in a microsecond um, yeah that's not going to be a problem even with like I squared C timing and stuff if you're using any of those protocols for those sensors um, yeah not going to be an issue speed of light we're fast enough through 100 feet of cable so next we're going to have to look at how much resistance is introduced by these uh, you know 100 feet of cable and uh, then we're going to test things out now we're going to do some tests the first test We'll be measuring the resistance introduced by 100 feet of uh, this cable. So these are connected together. We've got 100 feet of this cable. Let's see what the resistance is. Some people would say this doesn't matter. Uh, they're probably right. What matters is if it works. But uh, I like knowing what's going on. So uh, let's see. Can I get a better connection? Let, let's call it 17 16.7 ohms so that's the resistance of 100 feet of this cable super cheap these are the cheapest uh, 3.5 millimeter cables I could find uh, 100 feet of it on, on Amazon so those have got you know 16 17 ohms so knowing what I know about all of these sensors these are a selection of the best and most common sensors I have for the camera axe uh, light sensor, laser sensor, gate sensor, uh, motion sensor, microphone sensor. Um, I'm also going to test a flash and a camera. Uh, what I know about all the circuits there, telling me 16 ohms, not going to matter. So I expect everything to work. Now let's try it out. So here's the... Uh, camera cable it's connect that's a Canon 60d sitting right here we're gonna see if this will uh, trigger it hit activate yep kind of slow what the oh I see it was sleeping okay so uh, yeah works fine um let's uh test everything else it 
Well, that was uh, not super exciting, but it's great that uh, everything worked just as expected. So now I can tell people, go crazy. 100 feet of cable with any of the sensors and flashes or cameras should work fine. Obviously, I didn't test all the different flashes and uh, camera types, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure 16 ohms is not going to make a, a lick of difference. So now we know 100 feet of cable for sensors and camera and flashes, perfectly fine with camera axe. If you need more than 100 feet, I recommend uh, moving the camera axe. Thanks for watching.